Behold a faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord set over his household. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we don't even usually have Mass on Thursday, but uh, given the extraordinary circumstances with the suspension of public Masses and the feast day of uh, really the solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we wanted to uh, record Mass and make it available for you today. Uh, and so we hope that you can join in in prayer along with us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Since it is a solemnity, uh, when we celebrate St. Joseph, we'll pray the glory of Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, When your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me, your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Son of David will live forever. The Son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The Son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The Son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him. My covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, 
who is the Father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you the Father of many nations. He is our Father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the Father of many nations, according to what was said, Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord, you will. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover, and when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So just a few notes as we celebrate the, the Solemnity of St. Joseph today. First of all, uh, if you're hearing a voice off to the side, that's Father Jack. Uh, since he lives here, he offered to uh, help with the responses and, uh, and be uh, a, um, a, someone who's helping with the recordings here today. Um, and also, I think, uh, you know, we had to kind of put the camera where the, uh, where the outlet would allow us to keep it plugged in. So the position was kind of dictated by that. But it's really beneficial today in particular because it keeps in the frame St. Joseph, the image of St. Joseph that we have, whose solemnity we celebrate today. And I think uh, it's, you know, although there's never a good day for the first day of suspended public masses, uh, I think that uh, St. Joseph's Day gives us uh, um, a lot to reflect on. You know, St. Joseph was the one to whom God entrusted his son Jesus, right? He entrusted Jesus and in his, in his human life, his humanity, uh, to St. Joseph as a foster father. And we know that we, all of us, even though we're not um, able to gather together in the same space right now, we are the body of Christ as well. And this is why St. Joseph has always been seen as the patron saint and the protector of the whole entire church because he uh, was entrusted with the body of Christ 2,000 years ago. And that means that he is still entrusted with uh, interceding for and watching over the body of Christ here today. So I encourage you to place uh, your, yourselves under his intercession and protection as we place the whole church under his intercession and protection today. And I think the other thing that St. Joseph and this feast day reminds us as we're celebrating it today, you know, this was a great thing that the Lord entrusted him with, uh, with God himself, right? His own son, his only son, and uh, the only sinless uh, human being that ever lived, Mary, um, besides, of course, Jesus, although he was God. So this is a great and wonderful and marvelous uh, gift that was given to St. Joseph, and yet how inadequate he must have often felt, such as when they lost Jesus in the temple, as we heard about in the gospel today. 
And so at the same time, we ourselves right now are trusted, entrusted with a lot. We're entrusted with checking in on each other, caring for each other, uh, trying to maintain community and faith uh, at home without being able to gather, although that's usually such a key aspect of our faith and community. Uh, and that can seem overwhelming and we can seem like uh, we're not going to uh, perhaps handle the task as well as we would like. Uh, but um, let's remember that St. Joseph, he was given this gift, uh, he knew he was weak, he knew he was not going to be, be perfect, but he still uh, faithfully and to the best of his ability uh, cared for Jesus, God's only son. And so let us ask for his intercession uh, as we seek to to care for the body of Christ uh, among us, in our relatives, in our neighbors, in our community, in the coming days and weeks. As with solemnities, all the during the year, we pray the creed uh, and during the course of Mass. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in God's provident care for us, uh, let us bring our prayers and needs before him. Let us pray for the church. Let us pray that uh, we may entrust ourselves to the intercession of, of St. Joseph, the guardian and protector of the church, in these uncertain days. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world, uh, as, especially as it seeks to limit uh, the, the spread of uh, coronavirus and COVID-19 that uh, we may work together uh, and um, show true concern for our brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are ill, all those who care for those who are ill, uh, emergency workers and, and politicians, that there will be protection for all, uh, and uh, that those entrusted with making decisions will be given uh, guidance and, and, and prudence as they do so. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died. <clears throat> we pray that they may be raised up to glory in the heavenly kingdom with St. Joseph's uh, the Blessed Mother and, and all the angels and saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers which we bring to you and those of all those who are, are in our minds and hearts, all those who are at home. Uh, Receive all these prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus, the Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God,
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his holy church. <clears throat> we pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph <coughs> served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of Saint Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, Andrew his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Well done, good and faithful servant, come share your master's joy. Let us pray. To defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Go in peace and free God.